Welcome back everyone. This is part two of our look at Team Fortress 2. Up next we'll be showing you Demo Man. He mainly uses grenade launchers, one that's a regular grenade launcher, one that's a sticky grenade launcher that you know, actually fires remote mines that you can detonate whenever you want. And the last one is melee weapon. If you want you can actually change up his weapons so that way he's a pure rushdown melee class. So, there's two types of ways you can play this guy. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Let's see how this round goes. Five, four, three, two, one. Devilman can be pretty hard to use, but if you know how to use them right, they are vicious. Right now, I'm setting up a couple of remote mines so that way if anyone gets on the point, I can detonate them and destroy them. That's the way. <laughs> Once again, if I end up sucking with some of these characters, it's how it's going to be. I have not played them all to the point to where I know them completely. Got me with his flames. Ah well. Let's go ahead and move on to the next character, the heavy. Respawn in a few seconds. There we go. All right. As you can see, the heavy uses a huge machine gun that can f right. just fire like the a turret. Control point is being contested. Well, like a machine gun, whatever. He also uses shotguns and he can use his fists. Later on you can also get some food for him that gives him extra strength or buffs or something like that. One thing you want to avoid with heavies is gain in close range with them. Because their bullets do massive damage at a close range. Really not sure how food puts out fires, but I'll take it. Spy got me. We'll have to get to those in a little bit. Move on to engineers. Engineers are a tad bit different, well, completely different on how they play. They actually build buildings that they can use in order to use massive firepower against your enemies. The control point is being contested. You can build up the turrets to even higher levels. Like right now, it's a single shot. Now it's a double turret. You can also build little things to help your allies, like that teleporter I just made. You can upgrade that so that way it teleports people faster to the next point. Alert. The control point is being contested. Alright, got that up. I'm going to now move on by carrying my building here. And hopefully help out in the defense of the capture point. 
Oh god, endless horsemen. That's not good. I have to tag an enemy or else this guy is gonna kill me. Kill me. Be it! And now I am safe from the headless horseman. Up next, go ahead and make a teleporter for my. Oh, no, really? There we go. Now to run for my life. Oh god. That was probably a bad choice, but oh well. The Headless Horseman can't kill anyone in one hit, so you want to either the control point is being pass the who's it on, or prepare to die once he gets close enough. And right now, he's going on a killing spree. Engineers can also use guns. Uh, that was scary. They can use shotguns and pistols as well. Let's see. As you can see right there, Headless Horseman can't be defeated. So. He takes a lot of damage though in order to kill, so you have to be careful of that. Oh, that was stupid to me. Oh. Five, four, three, two. I'm going to head back to heavy for the rest of this round since it looks oh, like it might be over soon if my teammates can keep this. Victory. There you go. Three more classes for Team Fortress 2. I'll be finishing up the next video with the last three classes.